Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the Palace 11. Jeffrey Schloop starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Thank you, Selhurst Park. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Using his strength to shield the ball. Ezzy. Are you? Gonna get a try. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Fabinho Salah an early goal it is the ideal opening Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Palace to find a response now. A move of promise on the flank. Zaha. Schlup. So now a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And he did what he had to do defensively. Zaha. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Can he find the right pass? And an effective clearance. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Andrew Robertson. Darwin Nunez. And there it is! But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you.
Wilfred Zaha. Can he finish? Oh, magnificent reaction. <laughs> Mali prevented it from going over the line. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And he cuts in from the wing. Real chance. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Wilfred Zaha. Clean challenge. Well, foul play, says the referee. And all the way through to the keeper. Good work from Liverpool to make sure possession changed hands. It's there for him. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Thiago on to Salah breaking at pace struggling to keep the ball well they must exercise caution standing off as they are He read the situation defensively and did his job. Thiago. And scope for them to produce something exciting. In position. The save was a good one. Now sending it in. Well, still an issue here. Salah. An alert piece of defending. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Thiago. Will he finish? Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. Let's see about the delivery. Struggling to get it away. Fabinho. Oh, a vital interception. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. Nicely timed tackle. Difficult to stop him. But they took care of the situation defensively. And we are going to have two additional minutes. 
Hudson Edouard. Zaha. Will they get themselves level here? And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. whistle and that means the first half is over here in South London well quite simply he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game Stuart well he's almost been a bystander Derek you can see from the touch map he just hasn't received the ball in the areas where he can do damage that needs to change if they're to win here Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Time for a change then. Number 19, Harvey Elliott, to be replaced by number 14, Jordan Henderson. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Hudson Edouard. Just the challenge that was required. Mo Salah. Crossing opportunity. Well, Liverpool can get ready for the set piece routine, hoping to increase their lead. And they're making a change. Over it comes. Well clattered away. Henderson. On to Alexander-Arnold. And Dyke. Well getting in the way. Superb save. And over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Van Dijk. Superb block. Breaking at pace. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Zaha. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Of course, stats don't always tell the story, but on this occasion, they certainly do, because they haven't been good enough in the top third of the pitch. And I'm not sure we're going to see anything change here. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. Thirty minutes to go then. Nicely cut out. Well, that ball looks promising. Zaha. 
of possibilities inside the box. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Salah. Henderson has it. Roberto Firmino. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Firmino and return to Salah and offside well close one now they're going to alter things here's the substitution Firmino and with that the attack fizzles out Firmino on to Thiago Salah well in the end it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper Stuart well he has to do better there that's a really poor finish and time for the change now Trying to pick out a teammate. Some message from Jay Cheetham. Happy birthday, Jay, from all of your friends, including Mike, Trevor, and Mark Guehi. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Teammates in the middle. And a fine stop. Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, it's been a tight match, but they haven't done quite enough going forward in my view. It's all been a bit too predictable. A lot of passing, but not enough penetration. They have to get crosses into the box in these final few minutes if they want to get anything out of this. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Wilfried Zaha. And continues his run. Klein. Real chance. And keeping it out. Substitution, for Substitution time it is here. Number 17, Nathaniel Klein. Coming on to the pitch. Number 2, Jay Ward. And short it is. Zaha and searching for his second but the keeper equal to the task well he's looking really lively isn't he every time he gets the ball he looks a threat 